Torching is a technique I use a lot. I like it because apart from the fact that it's um, an interesting thing to do, it's an exciting thing. It's like uh, a, uh, a photograph being revealed in a developing tray. You start to torch the surface and all the patterns in the wood start to emerge. Uh, the torch will burn the softer spring growth first and that goes much blacker. Um, and when it's wire brushed later, that's, that's the softest part and will go deeper. The later autumn growth is a much harder piece and that actually stays black after the uh, wire brushing uh, process. The thing to watch out with uh, when, when torching something like this with fine tips to it is that the little tops will uh, actually catch light so you have to keep putting those out. I suppose I'm a bit of a pyrotechnician. I like all this torching and burning and what it does. And uh, it's actually been my downfall in many ways because uh, a few years ago, I actually burnt my whole workshop down and uh, nothing was uh, left at all. Every single thing went up in smoke. Um, uh, it's live by fire and die by fire, I suppose it is. Once I've finished the torching of the surface, um, I will um, wire brush it out very quickly to uh, get rid of all the charcoal and uh, reveal the um, grain of the wood and uh, hopefully the nice texture of the, of the crocodile. Right, the croc's teeth, uh, the business end of the crocodile. Uh, the important one to begin with is the fourth tooth back, which always protrudes upwards. Uh, I've identified that position two teeth back here which protrude. They're the important starting points. Uh, and then the rest of the teeth can fit in between. So there's my two important ones and this one. And separate them by equally spacing other teeth. I first came across articulated toys about 14 years ago. I was about to start a job at Oxford Polytechnic and uh, went to say goodbye to a friend and in his flat he had a, an articulated wobbly rat from Peru and it literally changed the course of my life. Instead of going to the job in uh, Oxford I joined the London College of Furniture toy making class uh, but it wasn't until about two or three years later that I made my first articulated creature. Not many people in this country are making wobbly wood, as far as I know. I, I know that there are still a few Peruvians doing it, and I know that the Chinese have uh, moved in on it, but uh, I'm known as Wobbly Jeff sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but as far as I know, I'm one of the few people making wobbly wood in this country. Mm -hmm.